on today's episode of Moto G's. The following movie is rated I. Captain Steve is here. Do a little adventure today, huh? Take the recon. Got that registered yesterday. Break that in a little more. Yeah, we'll do something fun. All legal. Gotta get this plate on here. It was a bit chilly this morning. 48. That's right, 48 in Florida. It's in the 60s now. It's supposed to get up to about 76 today. So that'll be perfect. Yeah, so the registration process went pretty flawless down here. Every time you register a Chinese bike, they look at you funny, like, who's the manufacturer? <laughs> and they gotta look it up. I guess I'll just find another set of nut and bolt. Darn it. I have one. I could tie wrap it. Machine oil. Eight to 10,000 kilometers. Doesn't say anything about the shipping oil. Tie wrap it for now. I got plenty of plates to hold on right now with tie wrap. <laughs> yeah. Been holding for years, so. It's easier for the crackheads to get off, though. <laughs> Boy, they give you some really good knobbies on that, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the old bras had the 50-50 tires. Dude, those are straight, like, dirt bike tires, huh? Yeah, DOT knobbies. Are they really? The DOT? Yeah. That's what I put on everything, too. My DRZ. Everything I have, I put these. I like them. You know, they make a little noise on a the road. They don't handle terrible. Try it. It's not, I mean, it's not as tall. Well, you have this supermoto, so you're not real tall. I feel like that's so tall. I mean, if that was any taller, I wouldn't be able to ride it. I had to lower mine. I tried, and it didn't work out. I bought some that they weren't adjustable. Yeah, and it went way down, right? I mean, it, like, it was sitting on the, on the back fender. <laughs> so we hit Harbor Freight up. We're not doing the power lines because you got your uh, yeah. <laughs> street tires. Yeah, I don't even have to choke it. Last couple times, I started a cold. Quiet, right? Six point two miles. First long ride with the recon. I wonder how he's gonna do with those road tires in the sand. So we'll hit up Harbor Freight and maybe hit the beach, Fort Island Beach. Still a little chilly. Yeah, recon runs good. Nice and smooth. That stock 17 tooth front sprocket is a definite plus because I always switch to that. They pretty much did everything I would do out of the box. The jetting's right. Has a rack on the back, knobby tires, has a little storage tube, and it's quiet. I know, some of you guys don't like that. And it's smooth. That counterbalanced engine makes a difference. Might not lose any bolts now. I know, I'm breaking it in. You can hear them knobbies hum a little bit. And them Sherpas. <laughs> this thing is quiet. It's like riding a scooter. Don't be hating. Lower this idle down a bit. I was pointing at that Sherpa. The thing with the big wheels, that Russian four-wheel drive. Oh, they're after us. You probably can't even hear this. No. <laughs> that one I think is the one. See, they don't, they don't have the middle one. This one I guess is alright, but... Too small, huh? A little bit. I usually get the one next up from this. This will work. I just cut and tie wrap it. Okay. 
five bucks. You need anything? Did we use one of those? No. Does it work pretty good? I don't know. I want to get one because I've seen them in like ads. They all look great. I'm sure I put it on and grease the squirts out everywhere. I know. There's always something that you need. Always. Thank you. Have a good day. They work good in the sand. They don't do too bad on the road. They're DOT knobbies. Take it easy. You gotta get one. I should. I was thinking about getting a smaller bike to carry in my camper. Oh yeah. These are perfect. They look like they're not very heavy, maybe 300 pounds at the most. Yep, that's what it is. Yeah. Is that the name of the company that makes them, Bras? Actually, these are sold out of Georgia, P Sports. I have a YouTube channel. I just actually finished a review on that, building it. Because it comes like in a crate and you put it together. Just basically just put the front wheel and the headlight and stuff on. They're like 2000 brand new. I just registered it yesterday down here. It's easy. Is it like a 200? It's a 250, but it's actually only 229 cc's. Huh. Well, cool. I got a bunch of them. I review. Uh, up on the internet, you look up bras or? Yeah, B R O Z Z. Yep. So if, when you look yeah. these up, you'll find you'll probably see my Travel. YouTube channel. So have fun. Be careful with it. I've got a toy hauler fifth wheel, but I also have a a truck. It's actually no snap on truck with a lift gate. That we, but I got a 660 pound Honda now, and it's a little bit much. Barely fits on the lift gate. Yeah, these are light. They're fun. I mean, you top speeds like 70, but yeah. it's easy to putt through the trails and get on the back roads, and it's good on gas and they're a lot of fun. Well, mind if I wait till you take off? Yeah, if you want to wait, it's all right. Tough material. Yeah. Might as well leave them there. I usually use a bigger bag, but they don't have it. There. Put my garbage in there. Don't rely on the harder freight zip ties too long. <laughs> yeah, right? What the heck happened to my other ones? I use them a lot. Is it right? No, I had three of these. You had three of them? Yeah. How many are you missing? Two. Two? How the hell did that happen? How could that be possible? Oh, that's how. Little <laughs> flies. <laughs> It's quiet. Mm, throttle tube loosened up a little after using it. Nice slow break in. That's not normal for me. So yeah, I'll probably take the hump out of the seat, just because I like a flat seat better. I forgot that as a recommendation for the manufacturers of these, make a flat seat for us. Just take the hump out. Yet some guys are six feet and they just can't get positioned right. That DRZ don't want none. <laughs> So 50 miles an hour is like 5,000 RPMs it looks like. So 10 gram would be 100. Oh, oh, oh. You won't do 100 on this bike. You're gonna have to check to see how accurate that speedometer is. Slow down. I don't think Captain Steve's ever been out to the beach or the pier out this way. Yeah, that counterbalance engine is so smooth. I think all of the people that import these in should just spend that little bit of extra money and get that counterbalanced engine. Message! I do want to try that. What is it, FE 450 a couple of you guys have? I want to try one of those. 
That 450 must be pretty good. Captain Steve! Yeah, he's right inland where all that hurricane damage was. He didn't really get hit that bad and he's not even that far east of where it hit. Captain Steve Nagy. Follow him on Instagram. He's got some pictures and stuff of the damage down there. When he took his boat out in the water. It's pretty crazy. Maybe I'll see if I can get down there and have him take me out. Yeah, I think this is my number one Chinese bike. They did good right out of the box. I have to update my TPS list. You know, China ranking chart. Shrimp's landing. That's a good spot to eat. So I got a Nibby PWK carburetor coming for the Raven. See if we can squeeze a little more power out of that and whatever we do to that. We'll transfer to this because they're pretty much identical motors. All these. The Hawk, the TBR, the Raven, the Braz. Same engine except the Braz and the Braz Recon have the counterbalance. Captain Steve, wait up! open so it looks like 64 probably 65 I think it yeah, 65 I don't know how the speedometer is now it's about 6400 rpm put a nibby on here we could squeak probably another five miles an hour out of it almost I didn't really lay down on it either I didn't think anybody would be on the beach today. But there are. There's some people swimming. Surprise, surprise. You ever been out to this launch? No, never. Law enforcement only. I will be quick. They got spots. You're a captain, right? It's the same thing. So once you're out in maritime waters, you are law enforcement, so. I know exactly law enforcement. <laughs> <laughs> I know. There's a couple side roads I want to take. There's like developments. And there's another, I always go with the, the last launch. I probably saw my videos, but. This one gets rough because it's so windy. That's pretty much almost high tide. Usually this is all exposed, you know? How you doing? Look at those corks, man. Those shakers, man. I'm telling you, where is that? Dead crab in the water. Now nah, there's the old power plant. It's still operational? <laughs> Not nuclear now. I think they're using, someone said coal or propane or something. And uh, Shell Islands, like over there, you can see where the markers are to go out. But it's typically five, six feet once you go out a ways. Can you get close to the plant? Is there like a discharge canal? Yeah, yeah, I've been over that too. Yeah. There's like little islands on each side where they dug out the discharge. They got a pretty nice pier out here too. We'll go over in the other parking lot and we'll walk out to the end of the pier. You carrying today? Yeah, why? Are you? Yeah. I didn't bring mine. Well, you never know. You may see some shady people. Yeah, I forgot mine. See, that's a true Floridian. <laughs> is to never forget. 
to go pack and well yeah it's like a fire extinguisher yeah. <laughs> when you need it and you don't have it it's like a uh, chainsaw gun and pussy those are the three essentials yeah i see big tarpon come underneath through here too tons of blue claw oh i bet there's tons of them around. yeah there's tons of blue claw they take the bait all the time Tides up a bit. And that's the Ozello Tower right there. Water tower. Oh, okay. And when you come off the beach, if you go in that little spot, it's like no one ever goes there. It's like you got a little private cove with like a palm tree and everything. Check out this little walk. It's pretty cool. Beach anymore. Did you ever go all the way down to the Ever Everglades oh, yeah, on the yeah. Gulf side? Yeah, yeah, plenty of times. How is that? I see there's like a town like right near the Everglades down there. Yeah, well there's Everglades City and there's um, Goodland, all that. Yeah, yeah, but a lot of that's all federally governed. And that, that's weird in itself. Really? And they have their own set of rules. Kind of like Long Island beaches. Yeah, you, so you have to be up on privy, privy on their rules, set of rules because the rules that you know your regular fishing rules yeah apply plus plus whatever they have in a car or on a boat no we we're in a boat we we're camping on one of the islands oh yeah, we had all the permits everything you got to get a permit to camp on the islands oh yeah 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 you have to have permits we were camping out there and once you're on land that's your insane fine yeah see this is like your little private oasis yeah man it's pretty awesome go back there get the palm tree in it and get all this in the sunset it's like beautiful awesome. they can't just carry it out with them right they gotta be dirt bags and throw their garbage thing to do i mean oh, well, yeah, that's fine. there's garbage cans everywhere why would you throw your garbage there because it's fun I <laughs> it must be Might as well adjust this up. Oh, quite a bit. Huh, I wonder how come. The sun's getting hot. Hit up Ozello. Six speed would be nice too. But the five speed's okay. Better than a four speed. Might be getting an e-bike sent down here. Be nice and flat. Maybe I can make it all the way out to the beach from my house. See how long the battery lasts. At least it's flat. If the battery dies, I could just pedal it home. Hands don't get fatigued from the vibration. Counterbalanced engine. Not that the other one's terrible, but you get certain RPMs where it definitely does vibrate more than others. You get the resonance through the whole frame. Good old grannies. There's a right lane there, buddy. Stupid people. Nice. Two dollar. A dollar eighty-five. I don't want that. Purified crap. I want spring water. Take it you too, thanks. Ah, I gotta take this off, don't I? <laughs> hey, what happened to the DB36? I never see that bike around anymore.
I sold it to Chris and then he sold it. Oh, he sold it too? Yeah. Oh, he liked it, but he just keeps getting other bikes and then sells them, you know. Kind of like me, I guess. <laughs> He'll have like five bikes and then he'll sell them. Any street bikes still? I do have a CBR 600RR, but I picked it up as a fixer-upper. Need some plastic, but I never did it yet. It's sitting out in a shed, that's it. How long have you had that? Uh, about a year. Challenge accepted. Thirty. Uh, I should have called Brad. He probably would have wanted to ride today. Maybe even Kirby, but Kirby's probably working today. Eh, it might not be too late. When I stop, I'll give Brad a call. Huh, I've never been down that road. Check that out. I have to check out some of these side roads a little better. Running good, Recon. Save the Tatas. Now well, sometimes there is water up over here. <laughs> High tide with the wind blowing in. A bald eagle. Ever been out here? That was awesome. That's a nice ride, isn't it? That was so awesome. I don't think I've ever used those parts of my tires. Really? Yeah, I don't have no twisting. Everything is like literally straight, straight roads where I'm at. A lot of bikes come out here just for that. Wow, I thought I, I ran into one turn. I thought for sure I was gonna run into trouble. Yeah, I got a little spook. What a beautiful day to ride, huh? What's up, buddy? Not a pretty bird. I did want to check out some of them side roads yeah. I cut out. Wherever so we'll just go, take man. our time going back and yeah. looking. Yeah, we'll switch bikes and uh, we'll see how your DRZ goes now. You jetted down five. Captain Steve on a recon. I love my DRZs too. Don't want to 
misjudge that turn, you end up in the drink. This is probably the best road around for taking a bike. Island Outpost, little tiki par inside. If you're ever out this way, definitely stop. What do you think? Like handles like a hundred times better than that. Bike. This thing just goes into the corners without even trying. That like I feel like you got to fight it through the corners. I mean, I, I feel like I had a really hard time going through those corners on that bike. This bike, I literally didn't do anything. You just it's so quiet, right? Yo, yeah, yeah. I can't believe how nimble it is. It handles super. It's good. it's super light too, you know. I mean, I was like worried about the tires, but oh uh, no, you could. They stick I pretty good, even. Go, like, much, much faster on this bike around the corners than I. Can really? Bike. Oh yeah. <laughs> that it handles pretty good. I always feel like I'm, I'm gonna dump it on that bike. I think it's because of smaller diameter wheels. It, it's it's more. Yeah. Touchy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got him over there. Yeah, I got him. That was today, though. It looks fresh. There's a big needle fish over there. Yeah. See him? Oh, you got a big old minnow on that one. Oh, yeah, big old minnow. Did you get anything today? Just crab, about a dozen crabs. Yeah, blues? Okay. Nice. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's he's a good size little one. I see them gars get huge, huh? There he is. You ever catch them big garfish? I have. I did, you know, it's funny, because back in like 89, there used to be like huge ones in Tampa in like the canal system. So. I've seen them like three feet long on the other side, on yeah, the east coast. You used to catch them all the time. You used to use like a treble hook and bacon, mm -hmm. and just fish them at night. And you catch them they fight too. Yeah, I mean, we catch tons of them. <laughs> I never seen big. I see thousands of them, but they're always like that big. Oh, I've seen them like probably about that big on yeah. the East Coast. Who knows if they are now or not, but. Yeah, I don't know why you, you don't see the big ones anymore. I don't know if they're a different kind or what. We'll take a ride back to the fish camp place I was looking at. Want to switch or continue? Right, I'll ride your bike. I'll, I'll All right. Dirt bags. good have to drive down in there that place is for sale this is it a few moments later yeah, it's fun to ride, right? It's like having a dirt bike on the street. It's very, it's very easy to ride. But I do think the big tires make a difference, you know? Oh, wow. Fiat X19. I used to have one of them years ago. I haven't seen one of them in years. what it looks like this 
definitely gonna feel different now. It definitely feels so much different. Reserve soon, I think. 63 miles. Change the oil soon. Back on the bras. I think I'm going to have to mess with the mixture a little bit. The idle's just a little erratic when I try to get it down 1,000 RPM. I'm going to go get gas up here. I like that design cap, faux show. Uh, let's put some super in. You deserve it. Hopefully this doesn't leak over like the Raven. Eh. I just did a little bit, but. I got an idea on that tank on a Raven to possibly fix that overflow problem. See how accurate this is. Might be quite a bit off at 50. It's like two or three off doing 30, so yeah, 35, 39. Looks like it's gonna be about five off at 50. Eh, they all are. So 68 miles. I filled it up. Oh, the buffalo are out. Oh, the baby buffalo. Bunch of little calves, bison, whatever. Fifty five is oh well, fifty four is forty eight. It's like six off. Tortoise, 49, 55, so it's like six off. Well, that was a fun day. Good job, Recon. Chain stretched. Oh, yeah, quite a bit. Should have left it tight. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoShees.com. Thanks for watching.